Yo! What's up? Fears! Audience, welcome to the Fears Podcast. What's going on, my friends? Uh, hopefully, I fixed the audio. Uh, I, I tried to do a stream earlier, and uh, it was sounding like I was a robot. So I'm going to quickly listen to it back, and I hope I've uh, fixed it. So let's see. Let's see here. What's going on, my friends? Okay, uh, good. Good, good, hopefully good. Hopefully, I fixed the audio. Uh, good. I don't I, know. I tried to do a stream early. I don't know what was going on, but I fixed the audio. Uh, it sounded like I had a computer voice. and But here's the thing. it's It was so weird. I did not change the audio. I did not touch the audio, so I don't know why that happened, but every once in a while... OBS like freaks out for whatever reason and yeah that was weird because I kid you not I did not touch the audio I just deleted the stream restarted it re-put in all the information and bam here we are and now it sounds perfectly fine so uh, I don't know why it was like that before but there we are thank god I fixed it anyway Welcome to the Fears Podcast. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing fantastic, my friends. Uh, thank God I fixed it. So now I don't sound like a computer voice like Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Nothing against Stephen Hawking. He, he's a brilliant man, but I didn't want to sound like a robot voice. Yo, Richie, what's up? Cheers, my friend. Good to see you. I got my new t-shirt on. Well, new to me, not new to the earth. Uh, I found it at Goodwill for a, uh, a dollar. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good Friday night. Uh, it's been an okay day. My stomach's kind of still on the fence. My stomach is still kind of on the fence. It's still hurting a little bit. So usually I'm not in a good mood if my stomach's hurting. But I will do my best to put on a show tonight. But uh, yeah, my stomach's still kind of killing me. <laughs> I don't know, Chicken Wizard. Maybe. Maybe they are. Maybe they are, my friend. Maybe they are. Uh, the uh, the trolls are even messing with, with your audio now. Just kidding, buddy. You know what? They have their ways, my friend. You never know. What's up, Tinder Immortal? Two streams in one day. We are truly blessed. Yeah, well, you can't really count the first uh, stream visions, you know, because I don't know what the hell was going on. I sounded like this. And I swear, I, I didn't do anything different. I just said, hey, let me go try and fix this. I deleted the stream, made a new stream up, put in all the old information, gave it the same title. And then I just said, fingers crossed, hopefully the audio will work good. Because I didn't mess. I've never messed with any of the audio, ever, in OBS. Because I wouldn't know how to mess with it. So uh, I just leave it on the defaults, you know? So I don't know what happened. But thank God it's working now. But anyway, what's up, Visions? What's up, Chicken Wizard? What's up, Tinder Immortal? So yeah, so I'm not in the best moods today, but again, I'm going to try and hide it the best I can. So yeah, if you guys read from the Discord, I've, I haven't been in the best of moods today, but I'm going to continue on. The show must go on, uh, onward and upward. My stomach's been still killing me. Uh, I didn't go to work last night, so hopefully my stomach will not hurt me all weekend because my boss texted me and was like, Fears, is your stomach still hurting? I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> and he's like, are you coming in? I was like, nope. I'm like, I'll see you Monday. So yeah. So yeah. Much love. Well, thanks, Carmine. Much love to you too, my friend. So yeah. Did you have your stream going in the background? No, I didn't. Well, technically, Richie, I guess I kind of did because I listened to it. I listened to it back always just to make sure. Maybe that fucked it up. I don't know. Uh, I guess she's doing okay. I, 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 I heard from her yesterday. I don't know about Claire. She seems nice, but we don't have a lot in common, you know? And I'll be honest, it's kind of bothering me that she doesn't like movies a whole lot, you know? That's a big thing with me, you know? I like movies. I like to make content. 
she just kind of brushed off YouTube, and I'm like, I like making content on YouTube. It's kind of a big deal, you know. It's a big deal of part of my life. There's other things, too, so I don't know if it's going to work out. I'd rather just be her friend, maybe, but I'll probably give it a couple more dates because maybe I'm overreacting, you know. I'm like, well, I've only went on one date. So we'll see. I would much rather, I would much rather go out with someone that I, that I have a lot in common with. But I'll probably give it a couple more dates and we'll see. I'm seriously going to take your guys' advice and go to one of those uh, one of those speed dating things. I don't know. I'm just I have a headache and my stomach's literally cringing. As if I lay on the couch, I'm fine, or if I sit Indian style. But the minute I get up, like. Getting off off the couch and walking over to use the restroom, it's like fucking trying to climb Mount Everest. My stomach is cringing. I don't know what the... I haven't had an attack like this in a while, so... As long as I sit here, or sit on my couch, or lay on my couch, I had a big nap today, then I'm fine. The minute I get up, and I have... And it sucks because whenever my stomach's like this, I can barely eat anything. I can barely eat anything. Uh, I can sip, I, I can sip liquids, but I'm starving and I haven't had any food because if I even think about food or if I eat any food, it'll just make me want to throw it back up because my stomach's killing me. So I hope it goes away soon. So yeah, anyway, well, we'll see visions. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, Carmine says, I don't like her. Maybe, uh, you, uh you'll turn her onto some movies. She said she likes to watch movies, but she's like, I don't really care about social media. She goes, it's a big waste of time. And I said, well, it is a big waste of time if you use it in the wrong way. Like, whenever trolls use social media, you know, for the for the wrong reason, that's when I hate social media. But I said, if you use social media for the right reasons, or to pursue your business, or to pursue your passion, or to get your video content out or, or something positive, then it's fantastic. Then it's wonderful. And I always use social media for the right reasons, you know? So, I don't know. But, I mean, everyone's different, you know? So, like, I I don't know. She just doesn't seem to be have any passion, any dreams. I, like, I, it took her a long time to answer this question. I said, oh, do you have any hobbies or any passions or any dreams? And she's just sitting there like, um, um, and I'm like, not nothing. And she's like, well, when the COVID broke out, you know, I, I started up tennis and I was like, well, I would consider that a passion. She's like, yeah, she's like, I guess she goes, well then I'll just use that. And I'm like, okay. So I guess tennis is her passion. And I'm like, that's great. But nothing, nothing before the COVID, I guess she didn't like, I guess she didn't have any passion. I don't know. And she was kind of pushy. Like we had, we had sat down to bowling and then she's like, well, since you paid for dinner and bowling, she's like, do you mind if I buy you a drink? And I said, oh, so that was nice. And so I said, oh, thanks. See, I, I didn't tell you guys everything because I didn't want to, well, I'll be honest. I love my fans, but. I don't tell you guys everything, because some of it, I don't kiss and tell, but now that, I don't know if it's going to work out, I guess I'll tell you. She just seemed a little pushy, like, she said, oh, do you mind if I buy you some drinks? Uh, you know, because I want a drink, and you already, she goes, I really appreciate you buying dinner and bowling, and I was like, oh, thanks, yeah, I'm like, I'll take a drink, and then she's like, where's the waitress? Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, yeah, we'd like a waitress over here. And I'm like, in my, I didn't say it out loud, but in my mind, I'm like, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the waitress will be over here in a, in, in a minute. I don't know. There was other things too. You know, whenever I went, whenever I was bowling, I got a little rusty and I turned around and she pretty much was laughing in my face. That, and that's what kind of irked me too. I was like, you know, I haven't went bowling in two years. And she was a little competitive, too. So, I don't know. So, but then, like, at dinner, everything, at dinner, we had a really nice conversation. So, sometimes she's nice. Other times, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah. So, yeah. What's up, Wong? 
What's up? Shout out to the fans. Do you think she'd go to a convention with you? Probably not, Tinder Immortal, if I'm being honest. And, I, and you guys know how much I love conventions. Uh, that's that's uh, my first impression. I, I don't think she would go... I don't think she would go to a convention. I could be completely wrong, though. So, uh, I, I haven't asked her. I told her that I go to conventions and, like, toy shows and stuff like that. But I haven't asked her. That would be cool if she, if she came. Because normally I either go... I finally got Randall to go to one. And you guys saw that in the vlogs. Uh, so it was cool... And I, and I took Sam once or twice, whenever me and Sam were friends. I still don't know what happened to Sam. It's kind of weird that he just disappeared off into the night. Uh, so I took Sam like once or twice, and then I took Randall once so far. But normally, it doesn't matter when I go to a convention alone, because I've got so many friends that I've met and, and made at uh, Jeff's convention. I'll just see him there. Like, my friend Robbie Retro, he's always there. He, he's, in all, he's in all the vlogs. My my, uh, my my friend Dewey Sean uh, he, he he runs the booth he's been in, he's been in the vlogs at least three or four times Jeff's always Je uh, you know Jeff's always a, a hoot and a holler you know Jeff's always fun Jeff did ask if he wanted to uh, if if I wanted to go to Disney next week I said we could go to Disney you know before I go to work I said what day he's like I don't know he's like I'll let you know fears next week you know maybe Wednesday Thursday I said well I thought about going myself you know. Uh, so I said, whether you want to go or not, Jeff, uh, I said, I think I'm going to go anyway, just to cheer myself up. I don't know. I've just been kind of down in the dumps the last week and a half. Been thinking a lot of stuff. Mainly it's my stomach. The stomach is what puts me in a bad mood because it's like cringing pain. But I was like, the show must go on. Then everybody in the discord was saying like, Hey fears, you should do Chuck E. Cheese. Like, I think Quentin was just trying to troll me. And I'm like, I'm not going to fucking Chuck E. Cheese. And he's like, well, wh why not? And I'm like, I'm a grown man. I'm like, you don't go to Chuck E. Cheese when you're a grown man. You know, I said for a couple reasons. One, the only adults that would be there would be the adults that are the parents for the kids. Or if, or the adults working there. I wouldn't just show up there alone. That would just be weird. Really weird. And he was like, didn't you go to, like, Chuck e. When, uh, Chuck e. Cheese when you were a kid? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm older than you, Quentin. I'm like, I went there as a kid, and I loved it as a kid when it was called Showbiz Pizza. It was Showbiz Pizza first, and then it was, and then it was Chuck E. Cheese. They transformed it into Chuck E. Cheese. I do have a past tender more. I thought I told you about that. Yeah. Uh, last Christmas, I bought myself a Christmas present. A, for a gift from Fears to Fears, and I bought a Disney pass, so I can go whenever I want. I got the best pass, Tinder Immortal. I just saved up my money and just bought the Incredible Pass, which pretty much gives you access to anything on anything on the Disney property. You can do and say whatever the hell you want with with the Incredible Pass because it's not cheap. It's like I think it was twelve hundred dollars, one thousand two hundred and fifty something. So. But it was worth it because I've been having a blast using it. I definitely, I'm definitely going to re re uh, renew it at the end of the year. And the good thing is, is I think when you renew it, you don't have to pay another thousand. I think you only have to, I asked somebody at the park and they're like, oh no, they're like, you can renew it. They said, we don't know how much it is to renew it, but it's definitely not a thousand to, re to renew it. And I was like, oh, that's good. I was like, I wouldn't want to pay another thousand. And they're like, no, it's much cheaper whenever you renew your pass. They said, you only have to buy it once, and then you just keep renewing it for the rest of your life. And I said, oh, okay. I said, that's cool. Let's see. Well, because of work, Tinder Immortal. Why don't you go more often? Uh, what the heck? I go as often as I can, you know. But, you know, uh, I work a lot, you know. So, but... If I feel better, maybe I'll go this weekend because I haven't got anything going on. This I was supposed to hang out with Randall. So if I feel better, maybe I'll go this weekend. And if I don't feel better, then I'll go next week sometime. But, yeah, my stomach's still killing me. Let's see. Oh, but, yeah. Plus, I'm, I've been really tired. But, anyway. I did watch Barbie. Excuse me. 
Oh, man. I did watch Barbie and all my Lord visions. That movie was nuts. But, like, in a good way. That movie was nuts, Barbie. It was really... I don't know. It was kind of a weird movie. Because everything... It looked too perfect. Because Barbie is artificial. And her dream house... No, nothing looked real. They made massive sets. So that was kind of cool. They used old uh, movie techniques where it looks like fake water and they tied a piece of board and made the water go back and forth like that. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that looked kind of cool. So I'm going to give it about a 7. I'm going to give it about a 7. I love that uh, Ken ha had a nervous breakdown and he just was like breaking into dance sequences and I'm just sitting there and I was laughing my ass off and I was like, you know what? I actually enjoyed this a little bit more than I thought. There was a lot of pink though. There was a lot of pink. And I'll be honest, the only time Fears played with Barbie as a kid is I have a lot of cousins that are female. So anytime I went over to my cousin's house uh, and, and there was no boys toys to play with i played with ken and i played with barbie only because i had to because there was nothing else to play with you know so on my dad's side i've got my first cousins i've got three female cousins and then one guy cousin and then my on my british side i've got uh oh lord well now my cousins in england they've had children now so now at first, I just had one girl cousin in England and one guy cousin. My cousin Samantha and my cousin Andrew. Now, my cousin Andrew, he's had a child. So now I have a second cousin, which is a girl. And she's very little. I think she's like, I don't know, nine or ten. I can't remember. And then my cousin Samantha had three children. She had two boys and a girl. And I think the I think her youngest is like five or six, and her two oldest are like one's ten, I think one's eleven. So now I have even more like little cousins. But that's the only time when Fears played with Barbies. So yeah, so it's spring break. You and Randall should be at Daytona Beach. I know, tender mortal, and I would be there, but my stomach is just killing me. Even if I drove down there tomorrow. Well, you never know. My stomach, weird thing about Crohn's is, even though it's hurting right now, it could be fixed by tomorrow. If it's fixed by tomorrow, I'll probably call Randall and be like, hey, man, I'm heading down. But I hate to do anything whenever my stomach's like this. I mean, it is cringing right now. I mean, as long it's not hurting as bad because I'm sitting in one position. But I shit you not, if I got up and walked to the bathroom, because my... My stomach's moving around. It would hurt. If I'm if I'm late on the couch, I'm fine. But I hate when my when my stomach's like this. It's the fucking worst. So yeah. Do you remember Tumble Drum in St. Peter's? That place was. Like, oh, I remember that Chicken Wizard. I remember. Now it's a shoe. Now it's a shoe. Uh, the last time I was in town, I drove as I was driving to the Mid Rivers Mall in Missouri, in St. Peter's, Missouri which is close to O'Fallon and Wentzville. I pass by that place. I look over to the right, because you can see it from the highway, buddy. And I went, oh, shit. Because I know they took out Tumble Drum a long time ago. But it was kind of like that old place in the 90s, like Discovery Zone. It had all the plastic like slides, and it had the ball pits, and you could crawl through the, the plastic tunnels and shit. Kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese on crack. And it was called Tumble Drum. And uh, they took that out, Chicken Wizard. And now it's um, it's a boot store where you can buy, like, cowboy boots. And it's in, the, it's in that little shopping plaza. I had two or three birthday parties growing up there. And my mom's got some video footage. I, I invited a bunch of my my friends and my classmates and some and some uh, church camp friends there and they were we were all sitting around a table and I remember this girl walks in and she said oh it's Johnny's birthday Johnny gets to wear the uh, uh, the tumble drum uh, uh, birthday hat and she and it was a red hat and she put it on my head and then my mom my dad my grandma and all my 
relatives were there, and then all of the parents of all my friends were there, and this lady brought out these massive, like, pizza trays, and we had pizza and shit, so it was a lot of fun, but yeah, they took out Tumble Drum a long time, Chicken Wizard. I think they took that out, like, <sighs> I think they took it out, like, right after I was done with high school. I graduated high school in 2003. So I think before I went off to college, like 2005, 2006, I think they took it out then. I know for a fact they took it out before I went off to Arizona for film school. Because I did film school between 2007 and 2010. And I know for a fact before that they took it out. So, But oh yeah, buddy, I, I, I remember that place. It was fun. It was, it was nuts. It was nuts. It was, it was a good time though. It was definitely a good time. But yeah. Anyway, I hope everybody's night's going well. I, it was an okay day. I just, uh, I just, uh, I don't know. It's probably because of my stomach. That's why I'm not in a good mood. I hate when my stomach's like this. I can't fucking do anything. I have to wait till the pain goes away. Normally, if I take a nap, it'll go away. But it's definitely not going away today. It was hurting last night, too. Discovery Zone, that's what's up. Oh, yeah, I remember going there, Tinder Immortal. Oh, yeah. I remember that place, too. Visions, you just uploaded a picture in the Discord, and and I know the two guys on the right, but I don't know the black guy wearing the orange. His face looks familiar. He's got an orange, like, jumpsuit on. I don't remember his name. I think he's a rapper, Visions. Because on the right-hand side, you got Chuck E. Cheese, and then you got, um, and then you got Mickey Mouse. But I don't know who the other guy is. And I'm trying... I can picture his face, but... I, uh... I can't picture who he is. So, Visions, you're going to have to give me some context here. Who is that guy on the left-hand side? I'm just curious. But let me know. Let's see. I had a couple birthdays there as well. I used to play uh, the Simpsons arcade game. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they had that there. They had a bunch of pinball machines there. Chicken Wizard. Do you remember on the top level, Chicken Wizard, they had a bunch of mirrors uh, on the top level? And they had those green, like, big bouncy things that would swing back and forth. And once you made your way through the, the, the green bouncy things, then you went through this little tunnel, and they had a shitload of mirrors in there to, like, tr try to, like um, like, mess you up on which way to go, because there was mirrors everywhere, and then there was that massive slide that you'd slide down into the ball pit, I remember that, Drake, that's what his name is, Visions, I could not, I, I knew his face, and I know, I knew, he, I know he's done some acting, and I know he did some, uh, some rapping, but I was like, I can't picture his, his name, that's right, his name is Drake, and I couldn't remember, I was like, oh, what the hell is his name, so yeah, Say, uh, did you see the latest Mountain Dew video? Uh, what, that Richie did? Oh, wait. Don't bring up any pick rob stuff. No, 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 no. I'm timing this guy out. No pick rob. No pick rob conversations. No, 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 no. No pick rob. Because pick rob is just as bad as Matt Man. I don't know, I don't know if he's worse than Matt Man, but whatever. No Matt Man talk, no Pick Rob talk. So, I had to time that guy out. So, no offense to that guy, whatever his name was, Wong, or whatever the hell his name was, but I want nothing to do with Matt Man. I want nothing to do with, with uh, Pick Rob or, or Flick Rob or whatever the fuck that guy's name is. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, yo, Doom, what's up? The turn, the turn, the turn. See how I didn't freak out about that? So I don't know. I don't understand why that guy would freak out. You kind of told me yesterday. You, oh, you know, no, I remember. You said, hey, Fears, I said the turn to that guy like three times, like I always say it to you. And then I guess he didn't like that, and then he blocked you. And then you had to make a new account, and then you like uh, went in and like just did it for like hours on end, and then the guy got really pissed off. And I'd be like, well, I could see that if someone kept doing it. But if it's just like a one-time thing, like just to say hello, like, yo, fears, the turn, the turn, the turn, 
That's all right. That's okay. You know? But, yeah. I only block people, though, the Doom, if I absolutely have to. You know? That's the only thing. If I, if I have to absolutely block somebody, then, of course, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't have to block someone, I can just time them out if they're if they're bugging me. Or if they bring up a controversial topic like that guy did about Pick Rob, and I'm like, well, I don't want to hear any conversations about Pick Rob because he disgusts me. Then you just time them out. You know? Now, I can understand it, Doom, if you were, like, doing the turn all the way down the page. Remember what I said yesterday? I said... If you did it all the way down the page, I would probably ask you, hey, man, can you just stop that, you know? But, and if you kept doing it, then before I would block you, I would just time you out. If you kept doing it, then I would just block you. But that guy immediately blocked you, which which I found out a lot of people get pissed off about that. But back in the day, fears did not care. I'm like, no, fuck you, you're gone, you're gone. Now I give people uh, a chance. Usually I give them one or two chances and then... If they keep doing it, then I'm like, all right, fuck you, you're done. And then I just get rid of them after like two chances. But normally, I haven't had to block anyone in quite a while. I've timed out a couple of people, but that's about it. I use it to say hello. See, that's what I thought. So, yeah, because you are you seem like a nice guy, uh, the Doom. See, there it is. Oh, see, now that I've said something, now this guy. See, now this guy, this guy's got to be a troll. Fatty Patty, now that I said something. He's probably a troll, so before I block him, I'm going to put him in a timeout. So there it is. So maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have opened up my mouth. <laughs> so there it is. Oh, Lord. Well, there you go. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. <laughs> but you, but, uh, but. I was making a point, so there we are. But yeah, no, I hope my stomach feels better. It's it, it's been uh, oh, it, it's been killing me for like the last day and a half. And the thing is, is I didn't eat anything bad. I didn't eat anything bad. It, it's just one of those random attacks that I usually get, and I oh, I fucking hate it. So yeah. Uh, gotta ruin it for everyone uh get out of here trolls <laughs> well i didn't block the guy i just i just timed him out for 24 hours so if he does it again though that'll be a second chance and if he does it a third time then i'll just block him so yeah so, yeah what's up pretend stories i wasn't ignoring you i was trying to what did you what did you ask hang on let me scroll up what did you ask I didn't see your question for 10 stories. Let's see, hang on. What did I miss? Oh, happy Friday. Well, happy Friday to you. Let's see, do you do you own any pink shirts? Uh I don't know. I, I don't know, Visions. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Cuz I'll throw one on. I'll throw one on in honor of Barbie. So, so yeah, let's definitely, uh, it, let, let's definitely go check it out and, and see if I have one. I don't, I don't know if I do or not. I need to go through my closet and, uh, here, let me pick up the fans and let's go find out. Let's go find out my friend. Uh, oh man. See when I'm walking, it's fucking killing me, but anything for the show. My stomach is cringing right now. I, sh I just did some laundry. Uh, I got to do some more laundry, so I apologize. I need to turn on the light in here. Uh, I apologize for the laundry that I haven't done in the background. So, yeah. I just did all that laundry. Uh, I mean, that's kind of pink. That's, that's kind of pink. Let's see here. Um, oh, I do. I do. I'll throw on this shirt, buddy. I do. I, I forgot. I, I didn't wear this to the last convention. I, I wore my other Hawaiian shirts. So I think this is the only one. I, don't, I know. I know. I don't have a T-shirt, but I will throw on this Hawaiian shirt for the, uh, uh, for, uh, for the show. In honor of Barbie. So there it is. I'll throw it on right now. So there we go. Well, that was easy. That was easy. 
I'm trying to get over here quick because the more I walk, the more my fucking stomach hurts. So let me just put you guys down real quick. There we go. All right, let's throw this bad boy on. And this is the first time I'm wearing it, so there we are. So, let me just... I'm just going to throw it over this shirt. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Well, I, I didn't want to unbutton this thing, but I guess I have to. It got stuck. I should have just unbuttoned it. There we go. It got stuck. All right. All right, now let me uh, rebutton it. That's what I should have did in the first place. What do you guys think of the shirt? I'm definitely going to wear this to a uh, 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 to the next convention, I think. But it's got, if you look, it's got a bunch of Captain America uh, shields in it. So it's like half Hawaiian, half, uh, half nerd. So there we are. All right. Oh, shit, it's still got the tag on it. There we are. There we go. It is comfy. It is comfy. So, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, hello, Richie. Uh, did you really do a Mountain Dew video? Oh, yeah, he did. I saw it. I saw it. Let me go to Richie's channel. It's called... It is called... Uh, um, um, I think it was just the Mountain Dew Challenge. Yeah. Mountain Dew bath challenge and he used like he used like 10 to 13 um like mountain dew like jugs or something like that so way to go richie that was quite the challenge my friends oh yeah so yeah let's see here uh uh vision says good choice fears well thanks buddy thanks it is a nice shirt too and it's like silky so yeah it's pretty good uh, uh, let's see. Baby Mama says, whoa, looking spiffy, Fears. Well, thank you. I do feel quite spiffy. I was going to take this one off and just wear this, but I was like, ah, that'll take too long. I'm like, I'll just throw it over. So, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, oh, by the way, El Homo, uh, 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 let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah, says hi in the chat. Well, what up? What up? That's not the video fears that we're talking about. Oh, I thought that was the video. Well, what the hell? What video are you talking about? That's the only Mountain Dew one he's got. That's the only Mountain Dew one. Right? Unless he's got another one. Let me let me look again. He drinks a lot of Mountain Dew. I, I don't know if he's got another Mountain Dew video. Let me see here. Oh, wait. He does. Mountain Dew Purple Thunder review. So he did that one. And then he did the Mountain Dew bathing challenge, and then, then he did the Mountain Dew uh, mystery flavor review like six months ago. So I don't know which Mountain Dew one you're talking about, but those are the, uh, those are the newest ones, my friends. Those are the newest ones. Let's see. I did a Mountain Dew bath challenge, but Robbie Pick Rob has nothing to do with it. Well, that's good. That's good, Richie, because. Um, that guy, that guy seems nuts and he sounds disgusting from what people have told me. I think one time, one time somebody sent me one of his videos cause I had a, a long time ago, uh, I had no idea who the fuck he was and they're like fears. They're like, we're going to send you one video to get an idea of what pick Rob's all about. And I was like, I don't really care. And he's like, no, no, no fears. You got to watch this one. And it was him mashing a Subway sandwich into his fucking face. And they like reviewing his lunch. And I was like, this is just fucking gross. And then 
I can't remember who sent it to me. I, I honestly, it was somebody in the community that sent it to me. And then, um, uh, someone told me that he was just as bad as Matt man. And I, as soon as I heard that, I was like, I'm done. And I blocked it. So yeah. What's up, Carmine? I won't say his name, but Richie has Matt Man type friends. Well, listen. Listen, I know Richie's not like that. I've known Richie a long time, and Richie would never do anything like that. So, yeah. Richie would definitely not do anything like that. But, Richie, I did see some of the Mountain Dew uh, video. I, I didn't see the whole video, but I saw some of it, my friend. I saw some of it. Anyway, but yeah, Visions, hopefully uh, hopefully you like this. This is I, I don't think I have any pink t-shirts, but I did watch it. And you know what? Let's get to this, because I kind of started getting into it. So, Because um, I, I don't know if I'm going to go very long tonight, because uh, my stomach's killing me, and I'm, I want to go take a nap. Um, I liked it more than I thought I would. I thought, uh, I, I'm like, Barbies are kind of for girls. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Uh, I will say this. It wasn't a perfect film. I gave it about a seven. It was an enjoyable watch. I thought it was hilarious that Ken lost his mind and was having, like, a midlife crisis. And he was singing a lot. And I've never seen Ryan Gosling a act that uh, goofy. So it was kind of funny. He made me laugh here and there. Because uh, normally he, he he's like an action-adventure type of actor or he's a or he's in a lot of drama films you know uh, you don't see him a lot in comedies but he's pretty funny he's pretty damn funny so and then all the outlandish sets because a, a barbie's dream house from what i can remember whenever i had to play with them uh with my cousins because they had a lot of barbie shit growing up and whenever i would go to their house uh, sometimes I would play with my cousin, St uh, Stevie. Well, his name is Steve, but I always called him Steve Stevie. Sometimes I would go up to my cousin Steve's, uh, bedroom and we played video games, but sometimes I wouldn't get along with him when we were kids. For some reason, me and him got into a lot of arguments and stuff as, as a kid, and we got into a lot of fist fights, but now as adults, me and him get along great. Probably because we've grown up a whole lot. Uh... So sometimes he wouldn't allow me to come into his bedroom and play video games and play with all like the um the boy toys. So sometimes I was stuck with my cousins Becky and Tabitha and all that and uh we would play Barbies and stuff and I was like, "Oh lord." I'm like, "Well, whatever." So I would just grab my Ken doll and be like, "All right, let's play." But uh I think she did a good job playing Barbie and he and he, and he did a good job playing Ken. Um, I don't know if it was worth to buy visions. I'll be honest. I don't know. I don't know if it was worth to buy, but, um, it definitely was a good watch about a seven out of 10. I got, I got some laughs out of it. Yo, heroes and villains. What's up? I was just reviewing this. My friend, uh, visions convinced me to get it. And again, it was a good laugh. It was all right. It was, it was all right. It was pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of pink. A lot of pink. And the and the the Barbie land was a little bit too perfect. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. Like everything was like perfect. They do the same damn thing every single day. There's no water. There's no fire in Barbie land. They can walk across the pool like uh, Jesus walking on water. Ken runs into the ocean where it's a fake plastic ocean. And he bounces off the fucking ocean and shit. So it definitely was funny. And then they, then they mix the real world with Barbie land, you know, and I don't know. So it was all right. I'll say this though, Visions, I, uh, I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to like it. So I gave it about a seven because there are some funny moments in it and the, uh, and, and the sets, the sets that they build. I like how they employed like old ass movie techniques, like when they're on the water it's basically just two pieces of plywood that looks like water, and they're moving it back and forth like this. And then they're like, "Yeah, we're on a we're on a jet ski. We're on a boat. All right, we're gonna get there. We'll get there, you know." So yeah, 
We're out celebrating my son, my, uh, my son's eighth birthday. Nice. Well, happy eighth birthday to your son, my friend. Uh, LC, there's a bunch of shows coming up, my friend. So if you want to uh, hang out with me at one of them, the next show, I'm probably going to go home in, in, in May to visit my family. So I'm going to hopefully, I'll probably just miss the May one. But uh, we got one in June, two shows in July. So, LC, we definitely got to hang out at one of those shows, my friend, because me and you, we haven't hung out in quite a while, buddy. So, yeah. So, but, hey, have fun with you and your wife and your kiddo, and tell them happy birthday. Happy eighth birthday. Way to go. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Well, enjoy hanging out with your dad and your mom and your brothers and sisters. Have fun. Have fun. So, yeah. But, yeah, it was it was all right, Visions. Again, not the best movie in the world I've seen, but Solid Seven. It definitely had some funny moments in it. Again, I don't know if it would. I don't know if it was good enough to buy, but it definitely was funny. Would Fears watch it again? I definitely would watch it again. Um, do I suggest it? I suggest everybody watching it at least, at least once, at least once, because there are a lot of funny moments in it. And uh, hot damn, there's a lot of pink. That's just a little bit of Barbie land. Look, there's there's Barbie land a little bit. Lots and lots and lots of pink. And then all the Ken dolls have over-the-top Hawaiian shirts, over-the-top um, colorful Hawaiian shirts, kind of like his. So it's most appropriate that I wear this today, uh, uh, today Visions. So there it is. Let's see uh, oh, nice! Vision says, I'm officially moving out by Monday. Getting the new place on the 15th can't wait. Hell yeah, buddy! That's awesome, dude. Way to go. Well, listen, heroes and villains, I know you're, you're gonna probably need help setting up your new, uh, nerd cave. So, if you want me to come over and help you, uh, set up your nerd cave, man, we gotta get your desk in there with your ultimate setup with the computer, then we'll set up all your nerd collectibles in there. Because uh, I know you said in the new house, LC, that that uh, your nerd cave is going to be bigger than, than the last one. So if you need help, I definitely will... Um, I'll definitely come over and help you, my friend. So just let me know. Just let me know. Hero says, uh, what's up, Richie? What's up, Visions? Wait, did I say congrats, Visions? Oh, shit, my bad. Congrats, LC, my bad. Yeah, I'm tired, my bad. You know what I meant, you know what I meant, LC, my bad. Because <laughs> as soon as I saw that guy laughing in there, I saw you laughing, and then Vision started laughing. Then Vision said, thank you. And I was like, oh, shit, I accidentally said congrats, Visions. Nothing against you, Visions. Congrats, LC, my bad. Congrats. That's really exciting, man. Hey, I'm glad that you finally got the house, dude. So congrats to LC. Awesome, my friend. Awesome. Like I said, you're going to need help setting up your nerd cave, so let me know, and I'll come over, and I'll help you set up that nerd, nerd uh, cave, my friend. Because, one, I can't wait to see the nerd cave up and going, my friend. Two, you're my friend, so I don't mind helping you out. That would be fun. That would be fun. So let me know, LC. Shout out to all in the chat and much love. Exactly. Sending love and prayers and blessings to you and your new house, my friend. And, and I'm sending love and prayers and blessings to your family, LC. So getting a new house, man. That's pretty exciting. Congrats, buddy. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. Pretty sweet. All right. Next. Next. So anyway, 7 out of 10. I definitely recommend it checking it out at least at least once. At least once. Again, I don't know if it was worth to buy it, but it, it was still a good watch. It was still funny. Anyway. Moving on. Alright. Fears is uh Fears is gonna try and get this down to the top ten celebrity crushes. Alright, let me know who your favorite celebrity crushes are in the chat. Number one. You guys, you guys should know this. Number one, uh, Nev Campbell. Oh, yeah. I've always had a thing for Sydney Prescott and Nev Campbell. I don't care that she's 48, 49, or 50. Or, 
Let's see, how old is she? How old... Let me write it in Google. How old is Nev Campbell? Oh, so she just turned 50. I don't care, because her birthday is October 3rd, 1973. She is so hot at 50 years old. I don't care that she's 50. She's fucking smoking hot. So Nev Campbell will always be Fears's, um, uh, Fears's first celebrity crush. Vision says... Sorry uh, you didn't like it. Ken rocked it out, though, uh, for reals. No, it's not that I didn't like it, Vision, Visions. I did like it a little bit, but it wasn't a perfect 10. It was funny. I got a couple laughs out of it. Like I, I said, I gave it about a 7 out of 10. The, the, uh, the best I liked about it was the over-the-top sets. I think um, she did a good job as Barbie. He did, he, he did an awesome job as Ken. You're, you are right, Visions. He was definitely, he, he was selling out on the mic. He was like, like, I love you. Like, like, just jamming out on the mic, you know, like. And then, like, they're on the beach by that fake, uh, that, that fake fire on the beach. And he's playing his guitar and he's jamming out and shit. So it was funny. It just, I've seen better movies. So it's not that I didn't like it. I did enjoy some of it, but not all of it. If I'm being honest, you know, that's why I gave it a seven out of 10, but it was still a good watch. I do recommend people watching it at least once. I just, I only like to buy movies on Blu-ray that are like my faves, you know, and that one, it was all right, but I was like, I could have just went and saw it in the theaters or waited until somebody downloaded it on YouTube or whatever. But yeah, it's not that I didn't like it though. I, I enjoyed some of it. Some of it got redundant, though. Like, it got a little weird. Everything was so perfect in Barbie land. Like, nothing went wrong. They didn't have to eat. They didn't have to sleep. Everyone had high energy. Everything was pink. Or it was if, if it wasn't pink, that it was, like, bright blues and yellows and greens and colorful. Everybody had the perfect yard, and I was just like, nothing like that exists. Which made it kind of cool because I was like, damn. Everything's kind of perfect in that land, you know? And uh, I actually learned some history on Barbie. I had no idea that Ken had a best friend called Alan. That's an actual doll. Had no idea about that. Had no idea that they made a pregnant Barbie, and they discontinued that. So they made pregnant Barbie. They made um, growing up Barbie. And I guess whenever you lifted Barbie's arm, it made her boobs get bigger. I guess to teach young girls like, hey, your body's going to change when you grow up and your boobs are going to grow, and they discontinued that. Then they made a Barbie called Weird Barbie. Didn't know they made that. So I definitely learned a little bit watching. Not that I really care about Barbie because, again, it's more for a girl's toy. But, I mean, yeah, there was some funny moments in it. And now it's added into the collection. So now I'm going to put it with all my other... All my other blue uh, Blu-rays. So I'm just going to go up here. And I'm going to put it right here. There it is. Bam. Right there. So, yeah. My goal is to eventually get rid of all these old DVDs. And just re-get everything on, uh, on Blu-ray. And then once I get rid of all these big DVDs, there'll be more room for newer Blu-rays. And then once all this is filled, I'm going to build, I'm going to not build. I almost said build. I'm going to buy another one of these tall shelves and put it in my bedroom and, 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 and put more movies on that. So, yeah. To find a woman, you must go inside the woman's head. This is true, Visions. This is true. So I am I, I am glad that I uh, watched it. I am glad that I watched it. So, yeah. And like I said, it was, it was pretty good. It was all right. It was all right. But again, I'll be honest. If I said it's a 10, that would be fears. It would be me saying a lie. I gave it about a 7 or an 8. 7 or 8. It's all right. It was still good. There was, there was a lot of funny moments. There was a lot of funny moments, so yeah. Anyway. So, let's see here. Let me catch up with the chat here. All right. 
Yeah, what's up, Dan Aykroyd? He says, good evening, John and friends. What's up? Watching Barbie every night until you find a nice lady. That, that will let you lie down on, on time. <laughs> That's funny, Visions. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I don't know if I could watch that movie every single night, buddy, but uh, I definitely would watch it again. And there was a lot of bonus features. They had like six features on the movie, on the Blu-ray. So I watched all the features first, and then I watched, and then I watched the movie. So, it was definitely pretty good. All right, back to celebrity crushes. All right, so number one would be Nev Campbell. Um, somebody said Emma Stone yesterday. She's hot, so I'm going to go with Emma Stone. Emma Stone, uh, that's for number two. Uh, number three, Emma Watson, that British girl uh, out of Harry Potter. She is so hot. She is so hot. So, Emma Watson. Um, let's see. Let's see. Nev Campbell, Emma Stone, Emma Watson. Number four would be, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, definitely Dillian Harper. Dillian Harper's number four. Number five is Kindly Myers. Uh, number six is, I don't want to say her name because then, the, then the trolls will troll the absolute shit out of her. But there's this Instagram model that is perfectly fucking flawless. Only in Fears' wildest dreams would I ever get, get a chance to go out with this girl, but she is so hot. So, I don't know how long she's been an Instagram model, but she is probably the most hottest chick I've ever seen in my entire life. She's definitely number six. Number six. All right, let's see here. What other celebrities? Let's see. Um, hang on, let me go to Google. Female celebrities. Let's get some pictures going here, so I, so I've got some context. Let me pick out. Let me pick out some more. Let's see. Let's see. What would be number six? I'm sorry. What would be number seven? Oh, oh, definitely. Uh, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot that played Wonder Woman. She's she's super hot. So that's definitely number seven. For sure. Gal Gadot. Hopefully, I said her name right. She is stunning. She's stunning. So that would be a celebrity crush. That's number seven. Number eight. Uh, I do like that girl out of Titanic. I always forget her name. Um, Kate. Uh, she's British. Kate uh, Winslet, I think is her name. Hang on. Let me find out her name. The girl out of Titanic. Well, now she's not a girl. She's a woman. Excuse me. Let's see. Um, Titanic actors. What's her name? Uh, let's see. What's her name? Oh, what's her name? Give me one second. Oh, I said it right. Kate wins. Yeah, Kate Winslet. All right. I just wanted to make sure I said her name right. All right. So she's definitely... She's definitely number, uh, what was I at? What was I at? Number seven? Number seven? Richie, you were paying, you, you were probably paying attention. What am I at? Seven or eight? I can't remember. Was I at seven or eight? Gal, she's got such a weird name. Gal Gadot. Did I say it right? Richie, what was I at? Was I at seven or eight? I can't remember. But yeah, all I need is time, a moment while I'm in between. <laughs> oh, Lord, visions. Oh, my Lord. Chicken Wizard says, are you into those 4K Blu-rays at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I watch some 4Ks sometimes. Sometimes I just watch Blu-rays, Chicken Wizard. Sometimes I watch 4K. Just It just all depends. So, yeah. Emma Stone leaves nothing to the imagination in her... In her new movie, Poor Things. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Um, all I need is time. A moment that is mine. While well, I'm in between, I'm not a girl. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't keeping track. Oh, shit. I think, I think I was at eight. Let's just say Kate Winslet's eight. 
All right, so I got two more, two more celebrity crushes. Um, let's see here. Let me go back. Female actors or actresses, however you want to put it. Uh, let's see here. Sandra Bullock, she's pretty hot. I know she's older, but she's still pretty hot. Sandra Bullock is still pretty hot. That's that's number nine. She's still pretty hot, Sandra Bullock. So Sandra Bullock would be number nine. And then, let's see, number ten would be... Oh, what what was that woman's name? She was in all those Disney movies, and she was in... Uh, she played Catwoman. Um... Oh, uh... Oh, it's Anne something. Anne, um... Female actor and Catwoman. What's what the hell's her name? Uh, oh, Anne Hathaway. Yeah, she's pretty cute. So she would be number ten. She would be number ten. That's her name. I couldn't remember her name at first. Anne Hathaway. So there you go. There's my top ten celebrity crushes, my friends. Top ten celebrity crushes. So yeah. But uh, I will not tell you guys the name of that Instagram model because I know if I did, uh, the trolls would be all over her trolling me, trolling her. So, yeah, I'm not going to say it. But she's pretty damn hot. Pretty damn hot. Let's see. Mine are Roseanne, uh, Barbara Walters, Rosie O'Donnell, China. Oh, nice visions. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's see. Richie definitely knows Disney well. Well, why would you say that? There's nothing wrong with Disney movies. I'm a big Disney fan. I'm a big kid in the can candy store. My favorite Disney movie with of all time. I fucking love Aladdin. I love Aladdin. The, the live action version of uh, Aladdin with Will Smith. Yeah, it was all right. It was okay. It was still pretty good. But the cartoon with Robin Williams and I don't know who they got to voice Aladdin, but. Whoever they got to voice Aladdin, that guy's a genius because he played Aladdin beautifully. I love going to the Disney parks and just Disney vlogging it up. So, yeah. But I don't really need to do another Disney vlog because I'm so fucking behind. But I may just go, if my stomach feels better, maybe I'll go tomorrow or Sunday after church if my stomach feels better. If not, I'm going to call Jeff up because Jeff mentioned something earlier in the week. He was like, hey, Fears. You want to go to Disney next week? And I was like, what, before work? He's like, he's like, oh, yeah, next weekend, next week, whatever. I said, well, I said, I'm probably going to go visit Randall next weekend. So I said, it'd have to be during the week. I said, before work. But I said, that's cool. So I may go and do that. I may go do that. Oh, yeah, Chicken Wizard. She's pretty hot, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, are you talking the older version or the young? Well, I mean, she's still pretty cute as an old lady, too. So, so go any Reaver. Um she was definitely really hot. Uh, I think the most hottest she ever looked was when she played Dana Barrett in uh, in Ghostbusters. She was really hot in Ghostbusters. So, uh, yeah, she's pretty hot. She's pretty hot, Chicken Wizard. But yeah, I don't really know how she looks as an older woman. But listen, Nev Campbell is fifty, and she doesn't look fifty. She looks. I don't know, 38, 39. That's how that's how well uh, that's how uh, well in shape she keeps her body. Obviously, she puts on a lot of makeup, but uh Nev Campbell will always be number 1. She's pretty hot, pretty hot. So yeah. Uh Margaret Robbie all over your face fears. <laughs> Let's get in there fears. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. That was actually pretty good. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Man, you guys are going for it tonight. Get in there, Fears. Get your face all the way in, you know, uh, Margaret Robbie. Shame on you. Oh, my Lord. That was funny. That was funny. That got me going. That was funny. Well, you guys have definitely got me in a better mood. So I appreciate you guys uh, cheering, cheering Fears up because I was not in a good mood. But shout out to the fans. 
Shout out to the fans. So, yeah. Anyway, let's see. Uh, Richie says, Visions, Courtney. I think he meant to say Courtney, not County. He says, Visions, Courtney and I was never dating. I don't know much about Courtney. I've talked to Courtney. I haven't spoken to her in a long time, Richie, but sometimes Courtney used to... I, I, I've had her on my show before. She'd be like, hey, Fierce, send me the link. I'd be like, okay. You know, I don't know, I don't know much about Courtney, but boom, here's the link. Sometimes she would be in the chat. But I, I don't know much about her, but she seemed like a nice person. I don't again, I don't really know that much about her, but uh But yeah. Go for it, Richie, if you want to date her. I know, Richie, you did date uh uh Carrie. My question is why? Why would you date? Why would you want to date, um, Carrie? I'm not making fun of you, buddy. You are my buddy. You are my pal, Richie. But I don't know. I just would never date Carrie. That's just me, though. That's that's me. Let's see. Uh, so yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, we are here for you. Well, thanks for ten stories. The reason why I was in a bad mood. Pixel kind of wrote me in the Discord, and he said, Hey, Fears, he goes, is there anything wrong? Are you okay, buddy? Everything all right? I said, not really. I said, my stomach's killing me. I said, I'm sick and tired of working at that factory. I only do it to pay the bills. I wish I could find something, a job that I actually enjoyed. And sometimes it's fun working there. Other times it sucks working there. Uh... I haven't had sex with a woman, an actual woman, in like five years. Let, not even sex. I just haven't had a relationship in five years. So that's kind of getting me down. And I'm just kind of sick of it. So I'm sick of everything. So, But if you, if you guys are part of the Discord, I wrote back to Pixel and I said, But Pixel, I said, I'm not going to dwell over it. I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing. Just I suck it up and I move on to the next day and I just plug through it and... He said, well, I hope things get better, Fears. And I said, thanks, buddy. I said, I appreciate you asking. I appreciate you being a good friend. And I appreciate your nice comments. So so thanks, Pixel. So I almost didn't do a stream today. But I'm glad I did because you guys got me into a better mood. So I appreciate that. Vision says, oh, yeah, Fears. She's been... Oh, has she? Oh, so she's been on the Cobra show. Oh, shit. Oh, my Lord. Oh, and they were... Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Now, this I did not know, Vision. So you're telling me... Well, Cobra has a, go a girlfriend right now, right? Uh, so, But you're saying before that that crazy girl that, 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 that he's with right now, Cobra used to date Courtney? Oh, shit. I, I, I did not know this. Because Visions just said they were a power couple. Oh, shit. Well, good, uh, uh, good for Josh. Good for Josh. Double dipping. Double dipping. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. I miss Carrie. I wish she would stream again. I, well, listen, here's the deal, Chicken Wizard. We are buddies. We are pals. But I highly doubt that Carrie will... I don't think she'll stream ever again, if I'm being honest. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But... Uh... She hasn't, like, streamed... Hang on. I, I don't want to lie. I think it's been two years, but I, I don't want to just guess. Let, let me um, let me go to her channel and see how long it's been. I told you guys the other day, but I can't remember how long it's been since she uh, streamed. So, uh, the Carrie... The Carrie show. She was a character. Remember the song that she used to sing? Follow the Carrie Rick Road. Follow the Carrie Rick Road. Follow, 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 follow the Carrie Rick Road. And I was like, man, she really likes The Wizard of Oz. And I'm like, not judging. I like The Wizard of Oz. It's a good movie, but you wouldn't hear Fears saying, follow the Fears Brick Road. Follow the Fears Brick Road. Yeah, that's not me. Man, she was a character. Hey, guys, I'm eating healthy. Really, Carrie? Is dumping half a pound of salt on a grape really that healthy? Yeah, Fierce. Oh, Fierce, pizza's healthy. The minute she said that, I literally just died on the floor over here. That's That was the first time me and Randall, I called Randall and said, Randall, I've got an idea. The healthy pizza shop. And he's like, 
what, Fears? And I was like, the healthy pizza shop. And he's like, Fears, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I said, Randall, I said, Carrie thinks that pizza is healthy. I said, we got to put the healthy pizza shop in the Fears Man cartoon. So, so far, the healthy pizza shop has been in the Fears cartoons not once, but twice. It makes an appearance in episode one, and it makes an appearance in episode four. So, but the healthy pizza shop will be back on the attack, Jack. It'll be back in the cartoons. It definitely will. All right. So the last time Carrie uploaded a video was a year ago. The last time she live streamed was a year ago, and she was playing Dead Island. So I don't know if she's coming back anytime soon, Chicken Wizard, because a year is a long time. But yeah. Let's see. Uh, pretend story says, well, it can't rain all the time. And then Vision said, if by dating you mean, uh, frig it off, uh, uh, whack off videos, then yes. Well, listen, I don't, I don't do that. No, I meant like it's been five years since I've actually had a relationship. I, I would like a relationship. I'm not asking for much. It just gets really frustrating I'm like, there's got to be some nice ladies out there, you know? Like, just for once, I'd like to find a nice lady that's a Christian, that that, that likes movies, that's into... into. She doesn't have to like all the fears as passions, but, like, we got to have a couple things in common. And and she likes YouTube, and, and, and I'm not asking for much. And she wants kids, and she wants a family. A lot of, a lot of days on these dating sites... Oh, if you don't have a BMW, then don't talk to me, Fears. And I'm like, well, guess what? I, I won't be talking to you then because I don't have a fucking BMW, you know? I don't know. It's it, Finding your soulmate is hard. Plain and simple. Finding your soulmate is, is, is hard. Plain and simple. So, yeah. But I was saying that Richie and Carrie... Were, oh, oh, my bad. Okay, I'm sorry, Visions. I thought you meant Cobra and Courtney. I was like, that's definitely a combo. My bad. Uh, but you are right. Carrie and Richie were definitely a YouTube power couple. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Richie, you sly devil, you. Oh, shit. Getting on a little bit of Carrie. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I remember. I remember, Richie. I think we all remember. I think we all remember. I think we all remember. Let's see. Um... It was funny when she roasted that sicko who I don't want to mention. Very true. Very true. I don't want, I don't even want to mention his name any anymore chicken wizard but yeah, I got a giggle out of it. Well, he deserves it because he's a sicko. So, he put that on himself, you know? If you don't want to get roasted or trolled, guess what? Don't do horrible disgusting things to children. Why? Cuz it's so fucked up, it's beyond belief. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Let's see. Uh, oh, that was in response to you asking if Cobra and... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I was wondering where that other statement came from. My bad, Visions. I, I, I had a brain fart. Oh, Lord. Well, there it is. There it is. There it is. Because for a minute I thought, wait, did Josh date uh, Courtney? Again, I don't know much about Courtney, but... Every time I've talked to Courtney, she seems pretty nice. But I haven't heard from her in quite a long time, Visions, if I'm being honest. You know, it's, it's been a minute. It's been a while. It's definitely been a minute. So, yeah. But anyway. Well, I think that's a good place to stop. That's a good place to stop. I'll eventually get to future inventions. That was a, uh, a topic that Sean came up with at work. So, there it is. But normally I cut it off when I get a little tired. So now it's going to be a struggle to put this back in my closet because I'm probably going to be hopping all the way to my closet because my fucking stomach's killing me and then get back to the couch and take another nap because I want this pain in my stomach to fucking stop and fucking go away. It's bothering the hell out of me. <laughs> and I hate when my stomach's like this. Anyway, I hope it goes away. Like I said, as long as I'm sitting here, I'm fine. But like when I got up to put this shirt on, I was like, anything for the fans, but it is a coronzen right now. Oh, my Lord. Let's see, Courtney has bobs that's down. 
Oh, okay. I did not know that. Anyway. Well, thanks a lot for putting me in a better mood. I almost didn't stream tonight, guys. I almost didn't. So I appreciate you guys trying to cheer me up. But uh, I'm hoping things will turn around soon. I hope. And, again, I don't know about Claire. We'll see. You know, If anything, I made a new friend. And if anything, hey, I got myself back out there and I actually had a date. You know, It was nice to have a date. You know, Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I wrote it down, Visions. I, I, I wrote I wrote, I wrote that fucking uh, Mommy Dearest video down. No more hangers, you fucking bitch. So anyway, Visions, Randall was down for that short film. I said, Randall, I said, did you see any of my short film? I mean, any of my uh, live stream yesterday? And he goes, oh, no, Fears, I was at uh, karaoke, which, by the way, he's at karaoke again tonight. He said he was going to call me around 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, uh, I'll probably be asleep by then, Randall. I said, because my fucking stomach's killing me. But I said, I'll have my cell phone right by me. So I said, if I wake up and answer my phone, tell me how the night went. So I um, I ran it by him, Visions. I said, Randall, I said, Visions was telling me and other people were telling me about this fucking crazy. I guess it's a, I guess it's a horror film. It looks like a horror thriller. I said about some crazed mom going ballistic on her children and her family about fucking wire hangers. I showed Randall the trailer, and I ran it. I ran it by him. Visions, your idea. Uh, it was either your idea or Pixel or somebody yesterday. I can't remember. About hey, fears. You should play the crazed mother part. About what the fuck, Randall? Like you put like you iron my t-shirts and then put my fucking t-shirts on wire hangers. And I and and then so Randall was like, well, what I what would I play? I said, Randall. I said in the scene. It's the woman screaming at her child. So I said, obviously, I don't want you to play a child, Randall. So I said, Randall, I said, we should switch it up. I said, we should start with you walking into my closet, grabbing one of my nice shirts and, like, ironing it. So I'll get out my ironing board, and I said, I'll film you, like, ironing. And then I'll come home and be like, hey, Randall, what are you doing here? I'll be like, hey, Fierce, I just thought I'd be nice and, like, ironed all your shirts for you, buddy. And I'll be like, oh, hey, thanks, man, or something like that. We haven't really came up with it. And then he'd be like, yeah, man, I, I hung him up for you. I'd be like, what the fuck, Randall? I'm like, why didn't you put it on a plastic hanger? Why these wire hangers? And I showed him the clip, Visions, and he went, oh, yeah, Fears. He goes, we'll do it. He goes, tell Visions I'm all about it. And I went, all right. I said, I'll let him know. So I don't know how we're going to write the script out, but Randall said, Fears, the next time I come over to your house, we'll definitely shoot it. I went, all right, buddy. I said, that'll be the newest short film. And I think I'm just going to call it Wire Hangers. Wire Hangers. I think that's what we're going to do. So, yeah. Let's see. A pretend Story says, hey, hey, Fears, at the end of the day, you, you made the effort. I did. I did. It just is, I don't know if it's going to work out. But you know what? Um, she is a really nice girl. We just don't have a lot in common. But I may give it one, one or two more dates, and, and we'll see how it goes. So I haven't said, I haven't cut it off right away. And we were supposed to hang out yesterday, but I actually called her and told her, uh, listen, my, my stomach's killing me. And, uh, cause that's where, that's when it started yesterday. It was my stomach killing me. And, and I didn't go to work last night cause my boss, he understands, he understands though. And, uh, he texted me. I was like, you coming in fears? And I was like, oh, no. I said, I'll see you Monday, buddy. Monday for sure. Because by probably by Monday it'll go away. If it doesn't, I don't give a shit. I'm not I'm not gonna miss any more work. I'm going in fucking Monday. Anyway. Pretend story says, at least you're getting yourself back out there. Yeah, I mean, it was cool to have a date and get back out there, because five years is a long ass stretch, my friends. That's a long time not to go without a date. A handhold, a cuddle, a kiss anything you know so and it wasn't for a lack of trying my friends it was not for a lack of trying but sometimes i'm like and i know i don't mean this but sometimes i feel like i'm like god what are you waiting for why why can't you help me find a, a nice mrs fears you know like what's he waiting on i've never done anything wrong in my life i'm like i've always done the right things and i mean i've made a few tiny mistakes here and there but nothing like illegal you know 
I'm not a bad guy. I'm like, so sometimes I'm like, I hope he didn't forget about me down here, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know what the hell he's waiting on, you know? But I, I, I guess it'll be worth it, though, for 10 stories, because whenever I do find Mrs. Fears, I'll be like, well, it only took 40 years to eventually find you, you know? Hopefully it doesn't take longer than, than 40 years to find her, but, yeah. Hopefully I find her soon. Anyway, that's a good place to... Uh, close it down. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to try and force down a slice of toast because I am fucking starving, even though my stomach's killing me. All I've been doing is just sipping on juice and water and tea and stuff to stay alive because if you don't have anything in you, then you'll starve to death. But I hate whenever my stomach is cringing and then I eat food, it'll make me want to puke and then eventually I puke it out. So I'm going to try and force down some toast down me and drink some more water, and then I'm going to call an early night. I'm going to go to fucking bed. And I may just crash on the couch because it's just, it hurts when I walk. And to walk from the couch to my bedroom, I don't even want to fucking deal with the pain, so I'm just going to probably ca crash out on the couch. I'm just going to grab the old blanket and peace deuce. I'm out. Time for a, a classic legendary Fears Napo. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about, my friends. Anyway. But I'm going to take off. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Always a pleasure hanging out with you guys. Anyway, God bless. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to The Fears Man at FearsMan26. Fears Vlogs is channel number two. Follow Randall. Lord Randall, Cameo Man 2021 is the first channel. And his second channel is the mayor of magic. Follow Chicken Wizard. Even though he doesn't put up any uh, content, he's in he's in the uh, the chat right now. Just give him a sub because he's my buddy. So follow Chicken Wizard. Follow the Sega Camp Gamer and Wear Camp at the Sega Camp Gamer 22 on Twitch. And last but certainly not least, follow me on TikTok at Fearsman26. All right. I'm taking off, but Fears loves you guys. Fears cares about you guys. Please pray for me because my fucking stomach is killing me. Like beyond belief. Anyway, I got to go, but I will see you guys later. Alligator. All right, bye.